morning, we're taking a look at the changing face of Buffalo's Elmwood Village as new businesses geared to open up. Yeah, you might remember earlier this year, there were 31 vacant storefronts along the Elmwood Avenue, but some of them are starting to fill up. When Thinking Elfish Fantasy Chocolate closed this year, after just over a year in business, Root and Bloom Plant-Based Cafe stepped in and filled the void. Up the street, Charlie the Butcher is carving out its space in the old Jimmy John's. We're told construction started about a week and a half ago and equipment has been ordered. And soon there's going to be new life for a former fixture in the village. A clothing and gift store Spoiled Rotten, right between Lancaster and Lafayette, closed over the summer after almost two decades. Now it's being replaced by a shop that's got a bit of a retro vibe. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Tweela Nugent is live this morning. She's at Revolver Records giving us the inside look. Yeah, Ed and Katie, you sent me on a scavenger hunt earlier. Katie, you asked for the Beatles. We found the Beatles. Ed, you wanted Lady Gaga. We found Lady Gaga. And all the Christmas stuff is out on the walls already as well. There's a whole Christmas section. Phil, you're the owner here. Tell us a little bit about records. The fact that there's old, there's new, there's a little bit of everything. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything here. Uh, we, we try to keep a good selection of both. Um, and as I said before, just about every new release comes out on vinyl, but they also, uh, you know, it's very popular to reissue things from uh, you know 60s 70s 80s a lot of yeah. 90s albums have been reissued for when they were never issued you know in the past and now they're pushing you know putting them on vinyl for the first time and uh, we're always looking for you know new uh, you know vintage records we're co you know constantly buying records yeah uh, so if you've got some out. good stuff to sell they'll take it here too <laughs> but you know you had so much in the old store on hurdle which you still are going to keep open this is going to be the second location you're going to have both are staying open uh tell us a little bit about how you could carry some of that inventory over yeah i mean it, it was a lot of work but we uh you know basically i i was able to uh uh, you know, stock up so many records at the other shop, and uh, you know it was you know kind of overbearing over there. You know, at times, I had some things in storage as well, but um, yeah, I mean, we accumulated enough basically to to separate the two and decide what was going to be at both shops, and and you know, you know enough to stock both both stores. And you have a presence now on two of the most major businessy shopping areas in Buffalo. Why do you think Elmwood is a good fit for you? Well, yeah, I think it's a great fit, uh, you know, because of, of the community that, that's around here. Uh, there's a lot of artists and a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of people that love music in this area. And uh, I just think that, uh, you know, once again, I said before that, that there's not a record shop on Elmwood. And, uh, and I just think it was a, a hole that needed to be filled. And I, I'm happy to fill that hole. Absolutely. Filling a need here for a lot of people to grab something physical in the day and age of streaming. We're live here in the Elmwood Village. I'm Twila Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News. Twila, I'm sending you on another scavenger hunt. I was going to say, did we give her things that were too yeah, easy? Yeah, she said it was too easy. Okay. I'm saying Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas is You, the single. Okay, I'd like to see some country. You can find me Garth Brooks or Kenny mm, Chesney. I like that. Good All idea. Right. It is